Hi, my name is Amy and I work at the Museum of Russian Icons. I want to thank you for joining me for today's story time. Today, I'm joined by my rabbit, Cooper, and I have another one around here somewhere. And I recommend you grab a favorite stuffed animal or perhaps your dog or cat, because I think they'll like this story too. Today, we're going to be reading The Abbot and I, as told by Josie the Cat, who lives at the monastery with the abbot. The Abbot and I, as told by Josie the Cat, written by Sarah Elizabeth Cowie and illustrated by Sarah Shelby. This book is lovingly dedicated to Father Joseph Langdon. May his memory be eternal. The abbot and I live in a monastery. In the morning, the monks get up very early. They go to church to pray. While Batushka is gone, I stay at home. Batushka is the Russian word for little father. I like to lie in the sunshine when he returns, we have our morning meal together. Then we work. Everyone in the monastery works. Some cook, some garden, some sew, some take care of pilgrims, some print books. One of my jobs is to catch mice. There is much to be done in a monastery. We all love Jesus very much here and we do everything for him. My abbot's job is to teach the novices and be a spiritual father. My job is to help him. We receive novices and monks in our cell. We receive pilgrims and nuns in the guest house. When people come to see us, they knock at the door saying, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. My abbot says, Amen. They come in with a low bow and go to receive Batushka's blessing. Then they come to greet me. They sit down and we talk. Petushka offers them tea, of course. I have a treat, if I care to. I sit in a sunny spot and watch all that goes on. My abbot talks to people about the love of God and keeping his commandments. Some of them have questions or problems. We help them all we can. Teaching people and praying for them is a big part of our job. Sometimes people want my abbot to hear their confession. Batushka puts on his epitracleon and cuffs and they go to church. I stay behind and keep the abbot's seat warm for him. When we are alone in our cell, Batushka reads, takes care of his mail or prays. We are both old. When we are tired, we take cat naps. He naps in his chair, and I nap in the sunshine. I like to play in boxes, too. There are a number of outdoor cats that live nearby. We feed them all every day. I approve of this almsgiving to the poor. I watch from the windowsill as they eat. In the evening, the monks return to the church for vespers and compline. Afterward, we keep silence. Before bedtime, there are private prayers in one cell and spiritual reading. On Saturday nights and the eve of feast days, there is an all night vigil in the church. Batushka can be gone a very long time. That is all right with me. We all have our own ways of serving and praising God. The abbot can't catch mice or purr after all. There is a woman's monastery nearby. The abbess and her nuns often come for these vigils in divine liturgy. Sundays and feast days are great occasions. Many pilgrims, as well as the nuns, come to the monastery to celebrate the feast. Everyone is joyful. At church, my abbot will celebrate the divine liturgy with the other clergy. Afterward, there is a meal for everyone. Do you recognize these two icons? This is Archangel Michael, and this is John the Forerunner, or John the Baptist. On these days, many of the nuns and pilgrims visit with my abbot. Sundays and feast days are our biggest day for visitors. Sometimes we are busy until evening when it is time for vespers. There are many places a cat could live, 
I believe there is no finer place than in a monastery. It's a very noble and blessed life. We are thankful, the abbot and I. And I would like you to take a minute to think about what you're thankful for today. Thank you for joining me, and I hope to see you at the museum soon.